Alright, I'm gonna enjoy and play it today. I'm gonna show you how to resurface a loader. And first you're gonna need a ladle, of course. And you wanna have this right here. You wanna put that in there. And you wanna find the right hole to turn this. And if you see one direction tightens it and one direction loosens it, and right here you wanna tighten it, of course, before you put this on the lathe. Alright, you wanna make sure you get it as tight as you can. Turn it over. Make sure that you can make this area flush. You find a piece like this and you make sure that fits on there. You don't want too big or too small. It has to be perfect. Alright, and then you want to step over here and put it on the lace. Alright, now that we have the rotor on the lace, we're gonna to want to put the proper pieces on. And right now we're gonna do we're gonna use this one for the moment. You wanna line that up. Take that there and you want to get this piece right here to dampen the vibrations the rubber piece right here and then you want to take this right here and get this um, it's, this is reverse thread so you want to go the opposite direction you would normally go All right. you want to tighten this down a good amount just take a good wrench or so and it's going to turn so you want to give it a a good hit in one direction like this all right you want to make sure that's good and tight all right make sure this is all sturdy and firm and you want to make sure these the blades are fairly centered make them a good even distance apart for each one to give it a little shot you want to turn this on and you want to feed it in until it just barely touches I don't know if you can see that I'll feed it in a little more And we want this to just barely touch. We're going to come out a tiny bit, just a tad. We're going to take out that outer lip right there. All right, now that's barely touching. We're going to do the same thing to the inner side alright, like I said you want to just get that until it barely touches alright and you want to back that up a little bit to take out that outer lip And now that you have the outer lip taken off, you want to take off the inner lip. You just want to go in there a bit quick or so. Alright, and the inner side is going to be past the lip first. So you want to kind of slow down a bit. And you want to make sure you don't go too far with the outer end. If you can see that. And you just want to barely take it in to take off that lip. And we're going to take a good amount of the lip off. I didn't say it before, but we just want to make sure all of this is firm and snug. Oh, 
All right, and then you want to set it on fast cut for the first time cut. But first, you want to zero this out. Make these zero on both. All right, and then you're gonna take this in just by a couple of thousands or so. Right there, we're gonna take it just two thousands. Then you want to set it to fast cut for the first go. This could take a little while. And I'll get back to you once this is over. All right, now our rotor's done cutting. You want to go ahead and cut the machine off. You go ahead and flip the switch off. You want to return these back into their place. Alright, now you want to remove the rotor. You want to make sure you put everything back the way you got it. Alright. Let's hit the rotor down right here. <laughs> 